Well guys, not what we had in mind for the day today, but uh, let's show you what we're up against here. Hit it. <laughs> fuel pump. So we're waiting for a tow truck now. He's going to come and grab us. We're going to uh, slap the fuel pump in this guy, I guess. So what is it with every Dodge I have? I have to do a fuel pump. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll get back with you in a minute. So I tested my fuel pump fuses, tested my relays, swapped a few fuses out while we wait for the tow truck. It's 100% the fuel pump. I gave the tank a smack uh, and she fired up and then died. And I can feel quite the vibration on the tank. So it's 100% the pump. Yeehaw. Being rescued by a 7.3. Howdy. How's it going? Oh, okay. Better than us. <laughs> yeah. This is what I set out to buy. Yeah, you did. Uh, you did an unlock for me in Lake Country last year. Yeah, we had six O's. We had plenty of them, didn't we? No, you can't. You can't go in there, dude. Well, in the tow truck. You can't go in there. What? In the tow truck. I do. Yeah. Okay, go go inside. All right, so as you've seen, we had the tow truck drop it off for us, and uh, my youngster and I here decided, you know what, let's conquer this bugger now. So we started taking it apart, we undid the evap lines, got the rear strap undone, and Mother Nature decided she was going to give us a free shower. So we set up the tent, we put it over the corner of the truck, just to have somewhat of a dry space. So now we're just waiting for it to slow down, because it's, it is coming down right onto us when we're trying to work as you can see we don't want to lay in that so we're gonna give it a minute see if it uh, lightens up if not we're getting wet is what it is all right so this should be the last strap then we are going to be ready to drop the tank and disconnect the lines and run down to the parts store and get the new one so yeah not too shabby it's, how long has this taken us Shia? Like, realistically, 20 minutes of work, really? Yeah. I don't know why anybody would pay to have a fuel pump done. Yeah. Like, they're so simple to do. Yes, they're an inconvenience, especially when you just filled up your tank, but... Not the end of the world. Easy peasy, especially in a lifted truck. Alright. Here we go. Last full. Ah! What? It's too tight for a ratchet, or too loose for a ratchet, but too tight for fingers. I got it though. Okay, that's that. Now, I am gonna get the heck out of here, and we are gonna try to drop this bugger. Okay. One strap. No, no, don't do anything. here. I can't remember how to get them out. Ah, look at the rock that just fell on my head. It is out. As you can see, it's a heck of a lot nicer than it was. We ended up uh, calling it for a little while there because that rain was just horrendously cold. So we went inside, warmed up, and then uh, once we saw the sun coming out and everything's drying, we came out and conquered the last couple things. So I'm pretty certain it's the original fuel pump. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, he's just up there grabbing some water so we can uh, 
clean off around here because that's disgusting. So, um, yeah, yeehaw, not much else to say. <laughs> All right, well, I'm still under the truck. New fuel tank is in. Uh, surprisingly, went off without a hitch besides the bloody wind, but uh, yeah, it's all good. I'm just tightening up the tank retaining straps. That one's still super loose, but we are just about ready to do away with the last jack. So I will say this time I used two jacks as opposed to the last few times I did a uh, Dodge fuel pump. I used just the one and it wasn't easy. Hey, look at my lights flickering, that's weird. Um, so yeah. All in all, easy job. Recommend it for everybody. <laughs> golden now so yeah we're good to go you can hear that baby whining away barely but fuel gauge is still working that's always my biggest fear when I do a fuel pump so yeah let me uh, flip this around and show you what else ended up happening one head shave later I ended up getting a bunch of undercoating in my hair uh, I don't know what kind of undercoating it was but it was all underneath and it, it was it was tacky it was pretty tacky so it ended up in my hair. I tried combing it out. I couldn't get it out. So I shaved it off the hell, right? So, yeah, all in all, she's done. She's back on the road. We're golden. We're good to go. We can finally head out and do some camping now. So, all right, let's take this thing for a road test. So, yes, I had to change my shirt. In the process of taking all my tools back inside my apartment, I dumped it all over myself, which was my top drawer of my toolbox filled with sockets and, of course, rusty water. And I'm wearing it. So, everything's in the house. We're good to go for a road test. You're probably gonna hear my next uh, repair I'm gonna have to perform here. My fan clutch is fully engaged, so it's on order. I should get the fan clutch tomorrow. But you'll hear it going up this hill, it's just awful. feel good to be back driving it was only down for a day but what an inconvenience that was you know my kids and I were actually going out we planned on going to pick up a canopy and then we were gonna head out camping so we had our whole weekend planned and then well Dodge life got in the way so not much you could do no point in getting angry about it like I told my kids they were a little bit frustrated but so why get mad at it it's a machine things break so we got it fixed Kids are visiting their mom for Mother's Day while I wrapped up all of my maintenance here. And so yeah, so far so good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Feels as it should. So yeah, I mean that was, yes it was an inconvenience, but if I was to bring this to a shop and have them do it, it would have been probably a thousand bucks. Yes, it took us a couple hours, but as you've seen, a lot of what we were waiting for was the rain. I mean, the rain was just awful, and it, it was pretty cold. It was only six degrees yesterday, so it was pretty chilly. When you're laying on the ground, it sucks all that body heat out of you. So I paid $120 for a tow and $300 for a fuel pump and some time. So pretty happy, and I'm glad I had... Um, the little plastic fuel line retaining clips. I had bought a few when my power wagon fuel pump, if you remember that video, when that pump went out in the bush, uh, I ended up grabbing a few extra ones just because you never know. And I'm glad I did because I ended up breaking my one on here and I needed one of those. So worked out pretty good. I'm rambling on like a bonehead about nothing. So I'm gonna end this here. Uh, we are gonna have some camping and adventure stuff coming up here pretty quick. Uh, I got a busy week this week dealing with stuff, trying to get the truck all, you know, in tip top shape. I've got to do my fan clutch is what I was referring to a few minutes ago. But um, yeah, stay tuned guys. See you on the next one.